Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. If you've got a 2023 GMC Terrain and you're looking for a simple to attach and low profile roof rack option, then this roof rack from Rider Rack could be a good fit for you. Let's check it out. Now, whatever roof rack you end up going with, it's gonna serve as an excellent attachment point for accessories, whether it be a roof box on a long road trip with your family, bike racks if you don't have a hitch, or maybe just some ski carriers to go skiing in the winter or fishing in the summertime. This will serve as the attachment point for all those accessories. And the reason I like this option from Reiner Rack so much is that it only adds two inches from the top of our raised rails to the top of the bars here. So when you don't have accessories loaded on, it's not adding much height to our vehicle at all. Shouldn't cause any issues with garage clearance or things like that. And even depending on your accessory, if it's something that's also low profile, maybe like a short basket, you might find that even then it doesn't cause any issues with your garage or low clearance areas like a parking garage. Just be sure that if you go that route and you do have something up here that you check and you take your measurements to make sure it will clear. These clamps will wrap around our bars and they don't have any fixed mounting points. So you could shift them front to back if you needed to to adjust four different crossbar spreads. Now ours currently are set up about 24 inches apart, but they can really go anywhere between this black point here and this black point at the back here. We've got a bit of wiggle room where we could spread them out to about 27 or 28 inches, which would be a great measurement for really any accessory out there. Definitely check some if you already have the accessory or are planning on getting a specific one to see if it'll work with that kind of crossbar spread. But 27 to 28 is a really good middle of the road option that should work for most things. Now underneath the bars to the roof, you've got two inches of space here, which is pretty close, but it should give you plenty of room for most clamp around accessories. Even if you did have some that attach with a hand knob at the bottom, It'd be pretty cramped for your hand, but I don't think you should have any issues making contact with the roof either. Now your crossbars are gonna be 46 inches long and the towers underneath are not really gonna have anything on the outside face to look at. All the tools that we need to use are contained behind the end cap of your crossbar, which you can open up using the included blue tool. You could also swap these out for locking cores if you wanted to but that's what's gonna cover up the hardware we use to actually loosen or tighten the clamps, meaning that no one can mess with this as long as your end cap is in place. Removing this is also how we would access the T-channel on the top of our crossbars. If you don't want to do a clamp around accessory, you could channel mount something. Just know that you'll have to take this weather strip out and trim it to length around that accessory wherever it sits. Personally, I like the clamp around style because then you don't have to modify that weather strip. But if you have a certain accessory you pretty much leave in full time, channel mounting would be a really nice way to have it up here and to get it closer to the edge of the vehicle, making it easier to reach. My one minor complaint about this kit on the terrain though is that this front section of your raised rail really can't be used by the Rhino Rack kit because of that small reinforcement under the bar. It just makes them a bit too thick for the Rhino Rack legs to properly clamp around, and it does limit your ability to spread those bars apart. If you needed to get a wider crossbar spread, maybe for something like a kayak carrier, then I would recommend looking into the Yakima Roof Rack Kit. That will allow for a wider spread because you can attach to this section, but in my opinion, it's not going to be as nice of a look. These Rhino Rack legs just fit perfectly around the rails. I mean, they're a solid fit. They don't go anywhere. There's really no air gaps or anything like that. And they're much more low profile. So when nothing's loaded up, it gives a much better factory-like appearance in my opinion. And that would be a really big important factor for me. But if you need that function of spreading the bars out more, the Yakima kit's gonna be the way to go. As far as the install goes though, it really doesn't get much easier than what Rhino Rack provides here. There's only two tools that are needed, they're included, and it's really just the tower and the bar that you need to assemble it all. So follow along and we'll show you how we did it. To start our installation, just lay out your parts 
that's going to really just consist of your crossbar, the legs, and the two included tools. You want to flip your crossbar upside down and on each end remove your end caps. You'll use the blue key for that, twist and pull the cover off to expose the track underneath. And that's where we can take our tower and just slide it into place by lining up the block and the channel. Now on our terrain today, I don't need to slide these in super far. Right about there is good. And I'm gonna leave the end cap off for now. With the legs on both sides in place, we can just take this up to our roof, feed it over to the other side, and line it up with our crossbar where we want to clamp it in place. Now, if it's not open enough to fit down over the bar, we'll just need to go to the nut on the inside and just loosen it up a bit before tightening it down. Now, that spot is a little bit hard to see, but the tool they give you is plenty long to reach through. And again, I'm just gonna loosen this up until the clamp is wide enough to secure down over the rail like that and we can start to tighten it down evenly on both sides. Now, right as we started tightening it down, I noticed that the clamp here isn't going to seat around the bar properly because of the black reinforcement piece that attaches the silver rail to our roof. So that's something to be aware of with this kit. The way those clamps attach, you will need to just shift it back a little bit more to where you're just clamping around the silver part of your raised rail. Once you've got it spaced evenly front to back on both sides, we can go through the process of tightening it down, just jumping back and forth so that it tightens down evenly. Now, as you're tightening this down, you'll start to feel some resistance, and eventually this tool should click because it's got an integrated torque setting on there, and that's how you know you're properly tightened down. The torque setting here is not super high, but higher than some other roof racks, so it goes for quite some time, it feels like, before it actually does click, but it does give you a very solid hold. Once that's done, though, you just want to go back through with your end caps on both sides, lock them up, and that'll cover up that bolt to make those adjustments so the whole thing is secured in place. But overall, it's a really easy install process. I'd say my one complaint is that on the terrain here, the clamps just do limit where you can actually place these. Raised rail roof racks are great because you can pretty much put them wherever, but this whole front section of the bar is pretty much unusable because those clamps aren't super tall. The result is a nice low profile and solid roof rack, but it will limit you for certain accessories, but it really just comes down to what you're mounting up here. Overall though, I think it's a really solid option for a roof rack on our 2023 GMC Terrain. My name's Aiden, and thank you for watching.